No. Scoring zero points and throwing for 214 yards and losing 9 nothing to a Taysom Hill-led football team mm. has more to do with that. I think since opening day, Aaron Rodgers has outplayed him. Aaron Rodgers has 30 touchdowns, two interceptions, and one loss since that opening day loss to the New Orleans Saints. You remember, and I remember you coming out here that Sunday. You mean to tell me the greatest thrower of the football, says the Hall of Famer. I'm not in the Hall of Fame, but the Hall of Famer can only score three points? Huh. <laughs> and your guy did it one better. Scored zero. Zero points. Huh. That's what your guy did. Now, since then, Aaron Rodgers, 30 touchdowns. He leads in QBR. He has a better completion percentage, better yards per attempt, better team record, and 10 fewer turnovers than Tom Brady. Mm. So at what metric can you use to say Tom Brady has outplayed Aaron Rodgers and deserves the MVP? And I told you, even though Tom was putting up these great numbers, I say don't count Rodgers out just yet mm. because every week they were winning ball games. He was th throwing two, three touchdowns, zero interceptions. Tom was having three, four touchdowns, but he was throwing a pick. I say, Skip, be careful, be mm -hmm. careful. And lo and behold, here we are. The same thing happened with Mahomes last year. Remember, it was that Atlanta game, Skip. He went into it. He didn't play particularly well, threw a turn, uh, had a pick. They won the game, but he didn't play particularly well. Come that afternoon, Aaron Rodgers throws four touchdowns, zero interceptions, and next thing we know, he's in just like it flipped. Aaron Rodgers in the league for the uh, the odds maker has him favored to win the MVP. So for me, Brady's also thrown 100 more passes, 161, excuse me, than uh, Aaron Rodgers. The biggest thing, what skill, what I see is I think the Buccaneers went out of their way to try to get Tom Brady the MVP. Mm. I think they could have, he could have still had great numbers, but the throw like they did uh, against New Orleans Saints, they opened up the game with 11 straight uh, pass attempts. Um, and I think that uh, has a lot to do with Tom. And Tom numbers are fantastic. I don't want people to think that I'm saying Tom numbers aren't great. When you throw for the amount of yards that he has, and when you have the amount of touchdowns that he's thrown for, obviously he's playing very well. But if you look at it in a race against Aaron Rodgers, and you look at what Rodgers has done, this was Tom. Sunday was Tom's opportunity. Mm. No A.B. Gronk was struggling. Chris Godwin goes out. Mike Evans goes out. That was his opportunity to do what Aaron Rodgers did on that Thursday night in Arizona mm. when he went up there with his three top receivers out, two top offensive linemen, mm. lose Tanyan, mm. no Jahir Alexander, no Zadarius Smith. Yep. That was Tom Brady's opportunity oh, to wait. do it. Oh, wait, that was the night that A.J. Green had the touchdown pass right in his hands and he just couldn't find it? Hold on. That night? But you see what you, you, see what nice. you did? Hold on. That was also the same night mm. in that very same stadium mm. that Pete Carroll refused mm. to give the ball to Marshawn Lynch. Yeah, yeah, you see? What, what does that have to do with that? What I don't that, know. What, what does that have to do with Aaron Rodgers winning mm. the game? Mm. You try to bring up an auxiliary incident. No, that got nothing well, to do with it. Well, he would have a big L. Well, Tom well, Brady would... to A.J. Green, he's got a W. Tom Brady would have yeah. a big L if Marshawn Lynch gets the oh. ball in the win and runs the ball in the end zone. Well, but, that's not true because Tom Brady threw for 124 yards and two touchdowns in the fourth quarter and brought them back from 24 to 14. So, bang, boom, go. So, did it not... Did yeah. it, hold on. Did Malcolm Butler did not pick the ball off in the yeah. end zone? Yeah. Okay. So, but anyway. You need to have a little defense. <laughs> but all I'm saying is this. I think that has more skill. Aaron Rodgers is not without, you know, he has some issues that I'm mm -hmm. sure some of the voters are going to like, hold on, bro. You lied. But at the end of the day, no matter what you think about a person, and, and it's hard, Skip, because journalists and writers and voters, they have feelings. They're emotional also. Yeah. And I'm sure they're looking at Tom Brady like, that's not a way to behave. But they're also looking at Aaron Rodgers like, bro, you lied. And then you come out here and be smug and cavalier about the situation. Mm. But at the end of the day, I got to evaluate the guys on what I see on the football field. Mm. And to me, I believe Aaron Rodgers has outplayed Tom Brady up until this point. Mm. They both have three games to go. Both have two division games. Yep. Uh, I think Aaron Rodgers have a little bit a higher degree of difficulty because yep. I think the Minnesota Vikings are a little better team than anybody that's on Tampa's uh, uh, schedule, Skip. But this thing is to be decided. But if the vote was today, I believe Aaron Rodgers would win. Mm. I do, too, but not because of what he's done on the field. I believe the flashpoint moment of this football season was Tom Brady running toward the New Orleans sideline and screaming at the interim coach, who happened to be the defensive coordinator, <laughs> Dennis Allen, who has had Tom's number for every game he has played against New Orleans. That's five games so far since he's been in Tampa mm -hmm. Bay. He screamed, go F yourself. Tom Brady did that? Yep. That's who I always said that he was. But because there is so much Brady hate, ready to spill, so much pent-up Brady hate out there, and I experience a lot of it across the table every day here on Undisputed, pent-up, ready to spill because he has shut everybody's mouth up to that point. 
And at that point, it spilled. And I believe that the most of the media, either because of Brady hate or Brady burnout, was just ready for Tom Brady to be out of everybody's hair. And that was the excuse that everybody needed. He threw that tantrum. He yelled that at that coach just because that coach was beating the you-know-what out of him, and then he went to the bench and he threw the tablet and smashed it like a little child acting out. Yep, 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 and that was the end of Tom Brady's MVP, as you say, narrative. I thought that, silly me, Aaron Rodgers' narrative ended when he became the liar, when he said he was <laughs> immunized, and you were all over him. I, In fact, I've never heard you any more scathing on any single player than you were on Aaron Rodgers mm -hmm. at that flashpoint mm -hmm. moment, but somehow... We've forgiven and forgotten. No, Somehow no, no, it's on. in the past. Oh, I, I just, Somehow it seems like it was last hold season. Hold on. I did what Skip Bayless did with mm. Kawhi. Mm. But, Skip, I'm still – But and I said at the time, the way I feel about what he did as, a, as an individual, he lied. But I cannot deny what he's doing on the football field, Skip, mm. and you cannot. Aaron Rodgers? Yes. Yeah. Okay, before I launch on why Tom has outplayed Aaron this year, allow me to say, first of all, I got to get this pet peeve off my chest – Obviously, as you just pointed out, there are still three games to go yes. for both of them. This is undone. This is unfinished right. business. Mm -hmm. Can Tom climb out of this hole, this narrative hole that he's in? I, I don't think so, but we'll see. But he, he's got Carolina twice and at Jets. So he's got easier opposition than obviously Aaron does. So much lower degree of difficulty. Yes. Could he pile up some TDs and some yards and some, some accolades? Yes, he could. Yes. But here's my problem with this. It's like the Pro Bowl gets announced last night, and I'm saying, why now? I, what, we're supposed <laughs> to, to get all revved up about the Pro Bowl, and we're going to debate in a few minutes here, should Matt Stafford have been on that Pro Bowl team above Kyler Murray? Mm -hmm. Well, I, we still have three games to go. Why did you release it so early? Because it's, it's not finished, right? Yeah, it is, Skip. Okay. It's finished. Well, the Pro Bowl's... Yeah, the Pro Bowl's finished, yeah. Okay, but why announce it now? They just want a big publicity pop yeah. that they got on sort of a, the, the middle of a dead week here. Right. Okay. It's I'll, always, Skip, it's always week four. Uh, well, it's week 15 now, Skip, but this is always how it normally happens. Last year, it was week 14, two games left in the season. Now they do it week 15 with three games left in the okay. season. Well, but, I don't have enough body of work. I mean, a lot could change over the next three weeks, and I think it's going to change in the MVP race, but I think Brady is done. And yet, before I go into the numbers, allow me to say that if I were trying to explain Tom Brady to somebody who did not get him, who knew nothing about him, the quintessential Tom Brady, the essence of Tom Brady was in that moment that he ran to Dennis Allen and yelled what he yelled. And I told you from the start, I'm not saying he's a great role model. I'm just saying he has a rage to win that often goes completely over the edge into what I call him, Psycho Tom. Okay. That was the epitome of Psycho Tom. He lost it, man. Mm -hmm. He ran over. If he, you know, remember Honey Badger in the Super Bowl? He went after him. He, he was screaming at him, lost control for a moment at right. Honey Badger. Right. And then went right back at him and threw a touchdown to, to uh, Antonio. Well, Brown. we'll see that, but that's the thing, Skip. Tom Brady, what Tom Brady does, it gets labeled as competitor. Fire. Well, let I, me, I always tell you, it's just psycho. Let me ask you a question. Okay, but it is Jordan S. Had Cam Newton done that? Is yeah. that competitive? Absolutely. If, if Odell Beckham, no, Skip. Hold on. Wait a minute. I remember when Cam Newton would sit on the sideline with a towel in his head, and you and people on the, on panels just like this said Tom Brady and Peyton Manning and Drew Brees would never behave like that. And all he was doing was sitting there with a, a towel on his head. Tom Brady does that. You know good and well. Odell Beckham. You know A.B. You know Cam Newton could never go to the sideline and yell what Tom Brady yelled. Mm -hmm. And people say, oh, that's just competitive nature, Shannon. What do you expect? Uh-uh. Right, you but, know but that. Cam would go over there and sit on the end of the bench and sulk with the towel over his head, and that's not leadership. So, so was that leadership? Okay, that's just crazy. I told you he See? wanted to win that game worse than anybody on the football. So, what Cam wanted to win? That's okay. why Cam. Who, Cam who is that? His it. number. I I called it first. I called it on Friday. You said it's going to be a route in favor of Brady in the box. Yes. Nope. I said. I would bet a lot of money on this if you'd give me 11 points in New Orleans right. because they have done that to him repeatedly. Okay, so, I, again, I'm not trying to defend it. I'm just trying to define it. That, that's who he is. No, no, no. And, and what, what he needed to do when he did his Let's Go podcast with Jim Gray, he needed to apologize for it, but he's not going to do it because 
He's too proud to do that. Jordan asked. Jordan would never apologize for any things you have criticized Jordan for mm -hmm. in the way he treated his teammates. Right. Or, for that matter, treated opponents. Jo Jordan would just, tr he, he would just exaggerate or, or fabricate beefs with rival coaches and players just to motivate himself. Brady doesn't really do that. Right. Okay? So Tom needed to say, I lost control. I don't know. And, and his line was, that was just football stuff. No, it wasn't. No, it wasn't. That was just psycho. No. Okay, so now let's get back to the numbers, shall we? Okay, so you talked about the common opponent that they have, mm -hmm. New Orleans, right? Right. Okay, so let's look at what happened in Aaron Rodgers' one bad game this year. Huh. Boy, it was really bad. Huh. He completed 54% of his passes. He threw for a grand total of 133 yards. Right. He threw no touchdowns and two interceptions that had a QBR of 14. Mm -hmm. Okay, that's his bad game. Let's look at Tom's bad game. Also 54% completions. But for a lot more yards, 214, not, not all lot. that bad, 214, no touchdowns, one interception. Oh. So, wait, Aaron threw two to one. Now let's look at QBR, shall we? Oh, wait a second. Aaron's QBR was 14 in his one bad game. Tom's was 18. So, actually, Tom's game really? wasn't still, as bad as Aaron Rodgers. Still, we doing that. Boom, I got you again. Let me ask you a question. Wasn't as bad. Okay, hold on. What about the bad game? What about the losses? What about uh, the bad game against Washington? He lost. Mm, what about the game? Yeah. How many games has he lost? How many okay. games has Aaron Rodgers I, I lost? I think it's still my turn. Oh, I figured it was still okay. your turn. Well, you talked enough <laughs> for one show. Okay, so here we go with these numbers. And you said, well, we're not going to discount these numbers. Well, you can't because he leads the league in completions. He leads the league in yards passing. Pass, pass attempts. He, we're going to throw that he, in there. He leads the league in yards per game, passing yards per game at 311. Oh, let's see where Aaron is on passing yards per game. 268? Yeah. That's way down here at fifth on the list. Mm -hmm. So that's not exactly rivaling 311 but by Tom on. Brady, but right? All, all I'm saying is, get, hold on. Huh. But see, you kept these, but what he's first in, you got to put pass attempts, 161 more pass attempts than Aaron Rodgers. But you also fail to realize he has four, he has how many more turnovers? Mm. One guy has four total turnovers. Mm. The other guy has 14 turnovers. Mm. So three times as many turnovers. Mm. 30 to 4 versus 36 to what? 11, 36 mm. to 12? You okay with that? Mm. But let me ask you a question. Skip. Wait, you, I, th I thought I was taught. I thought I had you go to, you, you, Okay, well, I, I, I'm i just getting started over here. You know, I, I listened to all that stuff that you spilled out. Okay, go ahead. Skip. Okay, but actually I misread my number here. It's actually eighth. Aaron Rodgers in yards passing per game ranks eighth in the league. Let's look at what Pro Football Focus said. Hmm. It grades Tom Brady as the second best quarterback so far, all the way up to date. Second best, body of work. Mm -hmm. Aaron's fifth in that. He's fifth mm -hmm. in grade. Okay, let's look at overall points scored so far this year. Green Bay ranks 14th. That's, that's Aaron's team. You know, mm -hmm. he is the yeah. quarterback. 14th, also 14th in yards gained as an offense. Mm -hmm. So 14th. Tampa leads the league in points scored. That's interesting. Tampa Bay has been decimated by injuries on both sides of the ball. So has Green Bay. Uh, yeah, so but, has uh, Green I, I, Bay. I, I'll, I'll rival you on that one. So if has start, Green Bay. If you want to start listing them, it, it is no, just. No, we don't, we, don't, we don't need to do all that. Oh, God. But guess what? But, get, uh, hold on. Let me ask you a question. Pro football focus, they listing stats and numbers and all that. What's the one, one loss record? What's Green Bay's uh, win-loss record? What's no. Tampa's? Yep, Green Bay's is a little bit better. Uh, no, no, little, a lot of bit. Just a little bit better, but but again, so many injuries, so many problems. But no, no, don't do that. Hold yep. on. The Ravens has injuries. Everybody's had injuries. You make it seem like injuries is unique to the Tampa Bay Buccaneers, mm. and that's what you tried to do. Mm. It is not. Mm. The man played without his three top weapons. He played. He done, Bakhtiari has him back. He lost Elkins. He played Arizona with his top. No Zadarius Smith. No Jahir Alexander. Kenny Clark has been out of the lineup. Mm. Don't do that, Skip. Mm. Don't, you, you make all these excuses. At the end of the day, it's still not over. But okay, uh, up let's, until week 14. Let's, let's look at help, Brady. I mean, Brady's we? got not played. Let's, let's look at help, shall we? Oh, nice help. help. Nice help. Pro Football Focus ranks Green Bay's defense the fourth best in overall grade. Mm -hmm. Fourth best. Tampa Bay's is ninth best. So Tom's he's fighting an uphill battle. Oh, he's fighting an uphill battle. He's fighting an uphill battle. Uh, what is the Hall of Famer Shannon Sharp told me regularly? That Tampa Bay defense ain't what it used to be last Whoa, year, right? No, no, that's no, no, uh. that's not what you said. Everybody came back and said they were going to be better. Tom Brady ran his mouth. Clyde Christensen ran his mouth. Mm -hmm. We're going to be better. Be better. Hmm. Okay, so I'm going to give you offensive line. Tampa's is ranked a little better. It's actually oh, got, second how best. Many, how but, but wait a second. Aaron's is, is a top ten. It's ranked eighth best. How so many far. Pro Bowlers does Aaron Rodgers have on his offensive line, mm -hmm. and how many do you have? All right, I just gave you that. I'm going to give you okay, that. Okay, you but got now three we're Pro going Bowlers. to receiving core. 
Who does Pro Football Focus rank the number one best receiver in all of pro football? It's Aaron's guy, okay. Devontae. Does Devontae help make Aaron what he is? Sure he does. How about, let's go to running back, shall we? A.J. Dillon is now ranked, or graded out, as the second best running back in pro football by Pro Football Focus. Okay. That's interesting. What about Lombardi Lenny? Uh, 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 he's gone. No, no, but, but what yeah. was he ranked? I mean, you mm. love Lombardi Lenny. No. Now, all of a sudden, you like Dillon. Huh. Well, they do. I'm just telling you what okay. they say. Okay, so... Let's go down the receiving list here. The the next receiver that we find that's Tampa Bay's is all the way down at 10th is Chris Godwin. Unfortunately, he's gone now okay. this season. God okay, bless where's him. Okay, the, where's the and, and Mike uh, Evans is listed all the way down at – he's graded tied for 49th. Okay. Tied for 49th. Okay, so we got – okay, so, so y'all got a team. Do, we got a if you do overall grade of receiving core, Pro Football Focus says Green Bay's is 4th, Tampa's is 15th. How is Tom Brady putting up those numbers with the, uh, with a mediocre, a middling receiving? Oh, course? it's middling now. Well, that's you what they say. Fifteen. You, you see what Interesting. You, you, now, wow. now you poo poo Mike Evans. Huh. Now you poo poo Gronk. I'm now not you, poo. I'm yes, not poo yes, you did. I'm, well, they, I'm just. Is Gronk on the team? Is Gronk on the team? Yep, is there. Gronk the go tight end? Yeah. Okay the, then. The so other, the other night, what did he do? He had 11 targets and he caught two for 29 yards. He had a bad game, Skip. Oh. So that was, so, but you didn't say that against Atlanta. You didn't say that when Tom, when he was lighted up and he did what he did to Atlanta. How many you didn't games say did Gronk miss? What was it, six or seven games? Ugh, he was gone for a long time. You talk about stories. Can I ask you a question, Skip? You tell me the better story. Uh, for, uh, Tom Brady winning his fourth MVP mm -hmm. at 44 mm -hmm. or Aaron Rodgers winning his fourth going back to back? What's the better story? While immunized? Skip, yep. what's the better story? Tom Brady winning his fourth MVP at 44, four at 44, or uh, Aaron Rodgers. You know, sport, in a situation like this, we, what about the story? You what do. about the narrative? You are not acknowledging Brady hate among the media. It, so, it's out there. Everybody got Brady hate. It was hate. dormant for a while, but all of a sudden it reared its ugly Why head it, because Tom invited it right into the living so, room. So what about Aaron? Yeah. What about Aaron? And you know, Rodgers hate after he keeps going back on the Pat McAfee for show <laughs> and saying what he's saying. There is no hate. Apparently not. Um, I don't hear since any from across the table. Skip, the man saying what he said. Did he not he, hurt his football team. Yes. Yes. Oh, your guy hurt his football team with that performance. Did he not hurt his team? Well, so Zero did. points. Well, again, I just demonstrated to you his performance wasn't as bad as Aaron's performance against. Uh, one guy got. Hold on. First of all, they both lost. Mm. So let, let's just go ahead and clear that out there. Yeah. But your guy had zero points. Mm. Zero. You mean to tell me he couldn't get? He didn't get in field goal range. Mm. No. Nope. Okay. He did not. Your, your guy was pathetic. 133 passing yards and two picks and no touchdowns. Hold on. Well, hold on. Your guy. All I know is is one guy has the number one seed. Hmm. One guy is 30 and four. Your guy's hmm. turned the ball over 14 guy times. One to guys turned the ball over four times. Hmm. One guy is the number one seed. Hmm. One number one. Hmm. Would you believe your guy last year won MVP with 48 touchdowns to only five interceptions? Yes. Well, how can you come back and win back to back when this year? Looks like a shell of last year, a shadow of last year. Uh, well, right? How do you do that? Because everything, see, you want everything to be about numbers. Huh. But if you watch the games yeah. and you watch what he's doing, hmm. oh, all I know is this. In two and a half years, Tom Brady has thrown more interceptions in one season, this year alone, with three games to go, than Aaron Rodgers has thrown in two and a half years. Mm. That is factual. Mm. How about touchdown passes? Look it up. Yep. Hmm. Look it up. 48 last year? Look it up. What's he got now, like? 27? 30. Oh, 30. 30 and 4. He's all the way up to 30. So let me ask you a question. Oh, is the season eight, over? He's only 18 shy of what he was last year. Okay. And you're you're over there pushing MVP? No, Skip. See, if, if you just base it on numbers, it can't just be about numbers. Mm. Because you have to also look at the games and look at how well he's playing. Mm. Look, what he did in Arizona on that short week is more impressive than anything Tom has done this year. Mm. Take everything else aside. If you want, if you want to cancel out the New Orleans game, both lost. Mm -hmm. There's no good way to say, well, he played better or he played worse. You mm -hmm. both lost to a common opponent. Mm -hmm. But nothing Tom has done is comparable to what – because at the time, Arizona was 7-0. At the time, they had just come off – they beat the brakes off of Tennessee. Mm -hmm. They had gone on the road, beat the brakes off the Rams. Yep. They were flying high. And he went there with a banged-up team and beat them on a short week. That's more impressive than anything Tom has done this year. Yeah, but – 
Kyler threw a ball that should have won the game. Skip, that Am is, I Skip, right? Skip, you know how sports work. Uh-huh. You, well, hey, mm-hmm. if the ball had gone in, this team would have won at the buzzer. I know, and but the, it's, it's a pass that, that is thrown perfectly. It's a touchdown pass that wins the football Skip. game. It's over. No, you can't do it like mm-hmm. that, Skip. Mm-hmm. You can't. Well, I, I'm doing it. You did. it should have been But done. you lost. Okay. Well, I, I didn't do it, and you I'm still saying, lost. So, in the end, these numbers I just gave you, they just screamed that, that actually Tom's done more for a decimated team on his side than Aaron's Oh, let me ask you a question. Team. When did the team become decimated? Hmm. I just need to know when they became decimated. Well, all year long, the Bucs have. It's been the, the injury gods have said no to them from the start. So their best offense, the Green Bay's best offensive lineman, mm-hmm. David Bakhtiari, mm-hmm. has yet to play. He's been a many-time All-Pro. He's been a Pro Bowl player. Mm-hmm. He has yet to play. Their second best offensive lineman tears his ACL mm-hmm. in place of him. They've lost another, Billy Turner. He's also gone mm-hmm. out. Uh... Devontae, he's missed time. One game. Okay. Yep. <laughs> okay. Come on now, Skip. Robert Tanya, his best tight end. He's out. Mm. His other tight end, Mercedes Lewis, was playing unbelievable. But if I'm not mistaken, he's in year 15 or year 16. Mm. He's not Gronk. How, how does this narrative start that, that Aaron doesn't have enough help? Because the, who says uh, everything that? I just told you, it, it smacks of Aaron has way more help than Tom does. Hold on. No, I no, just no, 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 first of all, now, now you see, now you poo poo talk. At first, it was about Tom and what he did. He took the Suckaneers. That is the same team that he wanted to run it back with. Mm-hmm. So are they still the Suckaneers? Mm-hmm. Now he's losing the MVP. By, like I said, it's still a long way to go. Mm-hmm. Now he doesn't have enough help. You see, that's why people get upset with Tom Brady is because you mm-hmm. when Tom Brady lose it's you blame my fault. you blame yes you and others like you you blame when Tom lose is everybody else's fault but Tom mm. but when he wins you don't give anybody no credit well, y- you won't acknowledge that Aaron has the better defense Aaron has the better running game overall Aaron has by far the best receiving core overall because he's got not, the, the best receiver in First football. First of all, pro football focus said Tampa Bay Buccaneers had the best receiving core. Mm-mm. At the beginning of the year, they didn't say okay, that. But we're talking about performance and grade. I'm just saying at the beginning of the year, you say that Tampa Bay Buccaneer uh, 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 receiving core. It well, was better than Kansas City. Okay, As well, a they, matter of fact, Dallas and Tampa Bay was right there one, two. Okay, they were defending champs and everybody came back and they added Gio Bernard and now it feels okay. like they're all gone. So what's the, so what's the deal? So what's the uh, problem? What's the problem? Yeah, I mean, Tom had a second because he go, we're going to be so much better than what we were. Mm-hmm. You remember Clyde Christensen was running his yap? Mm-hmm. Okay, be better. Okay, but the injury god said, no, no, no. Uh, oh, hold on. Did the injury god just cast their hand down on Tampa? Huh. So nobody else is injured. Huh. No one, no other team has injuries. Well, they do, but, okay. but you won't acknowledge the fact or defend the fact that Green Bay's offense is 14th in points scored, and you're trying to push the quarterback for MVP over the team that has the f- number one point scorer like, with Tom Brady. Yes, yeah. and let me tell you why. And I'm glad you brought that up. Uh, he has the number, he has the 14th ranked offense, mm-hmm. but got them in the number one seed. Mm-hmm. Your guy, your guy has the number one offense, mm-hmm. and he has them in the third seed. Yeah. That's why he's number one. Yeah, but the Who, def- there it is. The defense has been. Oh, no, it's the defense's fault. We well, defense you've been saying it all, all year. Day. But you didn't give him the hold on. What about what the defense did in, in uh, the Super Bowl? Mm. All you yapped well, about that the Tom Brady. That was last Brady. year. That was last year. Got an update. I promise you that. Uh-huh. We'll get back to this. Thank you for watching. You can subscribe here to get the latest from the show. And be sure to check out more of the best clips from Undisputed. Or go watch a few other segments from our other shows on FS1.